All right. Well, I got one lap of practice in, so uh, let's hope that's enough. And uh, try and be halfway decent. Just got to be patient. Uh, Richmond, always difficult to get the power down off of two and four. Not as many people have signed up as last week, because obviously you have to drive the car a little bit here. So we're not going to have a bunch of people that are only here to flat foot. So we are the number five. James is sixth. Gavin, seven. Uh, Mitch up here in the three. Derek, Jeffrey, Brandon's two car. Kyle has made the top split. And Jason as well. So um, hopefully, hopefully decent race. And uh, let's uh, go try out the Q setup. We have, oh, Laura's in here as well. We are missing, we're missing the high ping guys. All right. Not that it's good that they're not here, but it just makes it a little safer. Just because we don't have to deal with the extra wide cars from their ping. Whoa, this thing, what the hell is wrong with? Did I put the wrong setup in? the hell was that? Richmond. Okay, is the weight jacker... Nope. What is going on? Why is this qualifying set trash? That was not right. I think Gavin's gonna do it too. I don't know, we just got some weird tires on it there. I don't feel like we did anything different. Oh, it is loose. Probably has to be a little loose to get it through the corners quickly. You have about five laps of fuel left. Really hard to get the power down. It's just spinning up the tires. Not a whole lot of weight on the rear axle. These tires just do not work well at all. Alright, so we might be able to get a top five qualifying start. weight tracker for the first lap. Try to just work some heat into the right front. Green flag, green flag. Right here. Okay, here comes your first time lap. I cannot. I gotta just stop smashing. Stop smashing the throttle off of four. You got about five left. Gotta redo this here because that straightaway was trash, so this lap doesn't really count. Hopefully, I don't hit the wall. 21.066. Not turning. I don't know if it was worth it to try for the second lap, but it looks like everyone All else right. has struggled as much. Flag. Let's get that race set up in. And how many laps are we doing? We're doing 80 laps. We got 29 gallons. So that is two eight twenty two point four. Is that correct? 
Are we that overfueled? Am I doing math right? All right, let's go 0 0.30. It's 24 gallons. Do I trust myself with math? We're only doing 80 laps, right? Um, I guess let's, oh God, start changing stuff. Just gonna break the hell out of it. All right. Load it back up. Base. Drop it down to 25. Can we get away with 25? No, because that's blinking. So we'll go 26. I don't want to start messing things up. Am I. Like, because. Oh, you know what? All right. I think that... No, why is this... I think this is broken. I think my fuel thing is messed up. Uh, we're just going to trust Wayne's and not worry about it. Because it's saying I'm on lap 90. Which obviously... Uh... Oh, Mitch gets the pull. And uh, we're going to start 7th. I don't... Yeah, we'll just... We'll trust it. Because this is... Saying lap 90, You'll be lining up which... On the inside. Pit road is why right is it now. saying that? It's not going to matter anyways. All right, so starting seventh, watch out for the normal people that we have to watch out for. Cat There's is no trying to chew on the, drag. Turn the him right and good luck. headset wire. I hope she gets bored with that and gets away from my pedals. Don't get to deal with that. Fake throw something. She go get it. No, she will not. Okay, so she is just going to sit by my feet and stare at me, and then when she gets tired of being ignored, she's going to claw into my leg, and then start messing around with other things, and probably climb up on the computer, because she knows that that will get my attention quickly. Alright, 80 laps, long ways. Mitch starting at the front, he should check out. One to go, next time by. Hopefully we get some long runs though. This car is always fun with long runs on short tracks with the uh, lap cars and all the fun that comes from that. We're also going later in the season to Southern National with these. I'm not sure I've ever raced these there. So that will be a tough combo. Derek's hanging. Quite a ways green, back. Green, green. We're going on green. James gets a really bad start, Outside. so we gotta just wait. Still there. He's on the throttle. 
Clear outside. He's back onto the throttle, and we are in six. Just ride here. Let's see what this car is going to do. Gavin's followed us through. Oh, Gavin got a little loose. Really wish they'd fix the uh, left front. That is something that's just started with this build. Ooh, Gavin is having some trouble slowing down. He gets a little contact from Brandon. Point eight, nine, six. Ames gets a big push off the corner. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. He lets us have it. And we move on. Gavin has let Brandon around. Well, hello. There was a turn back there. We just didn't want to do it, apparently, and now we're just slowing ourselves down, swapping back and forth with James. How did I overdrive that corner so bad? Let's try not to do that again. Thankfully, James uh, lifted off, but we did not get it to turn in there at all. We're not going to be driving in deep. Brandon gets up to us, we'll let him go. He's normally quicker than us. And Mitch has thrown this one away. I think he just uh, drug it on the wall there. Being a fast guy trying to get the uh, best corner entrance and got it hooked on the wall. That's going to be hard to recover from that. A lot of distance given up. I don't know if he was getting past at the time, but... Definitely changes how this race goes. If you got body damage, that shouldn't matter. Not here. And, uh, since we don't have the new damage model, he's definitely not going to get any suspension issues. Just get Brandon past us, because there's no point in fighting him. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold your line. 21.3, 4, 4, clear inside. And we'll just let Mitch by, because I'm not feeling all that quick anyways. Car inside. Gavin, you don't get the free pass. Although Gavin has come alive since he got around everyone. And just having some issues on exit there. Really driving in deep. Gavin tries to follow me down onto the apron and his... Car did not like that. Kyle is in ninth place already. I don't know where he started, but I don't think maybe he was right back there, right behind us on the start, but he's having a good run in the 13 up into the top 10. So I got to start figuring out what I want to do with the car here. It's not really loose, it's not really tight, but it's not really fast. So I'm guessing the driver is playing a part in not being too fast. 
around and nearly squirrels it into the wall at the end of the straightaway, so I'm guessing he's starting to get that spinning up of the tires at high RPMs. Fuel-wise, yeah, we're way overfueled. Like I thought, but we were never going to uh, get that adjusted correct without changing the balance of it more than I wanted to. A little heavier, but uh, only about 40 pounds or so. Back of the field really not falling off that far. There might be a couple of stragglers, but it might be a long time before we get to lap traffic. I nearly just drove it up into the wall on the straightaway there. Kind of let the steering wheel go a little bit and it went to the right. Pulling away from Gavin. 21.252. He's getting past. He let the guy go and he still overdrove the corner. Nearly hit him. But yeah, plan right now is just get laps in, learn the car, and uh, hope it doesn't do anything weird that I'm not expecting. Then we'll start playing with the weight jacker and try to find some speed later on. Right now the key is just don't overheat a tire, don't overheat the rights, don't overheat left rear. Just keep the car balanced and then we'll try to get some speed later. Brandon has just passed Derek. Wonder why we're only doing 80 laps. Should be 100. That's what we normally do at tracks this long. We did. Didn't we do 80 laps at Atlanta? Or maybe that was 60. Maybe it just felt like 80 because it took forever. There was nothing you could do. Anyways, we're pulling away from the people behind. The people in front are pulling away from us. It looks like we're going to get sixth. Josh has got the lead, but is getting pressured from Stanton. And Mitch is kicking himself. Although he's not really looking all that quick. So he might have been getting past when it happened. cars on the short tracks that you can't overdrive. You'll just start paying for it. Okay, I'm going to try a couple of clicks on the weight tracker to see how that makes it feel. Just want to loosen it up a little bit so I don't have to put so much wheel in it. 
but driving on the apron is not a good idea. That'll loosen it up. It's kind of a boring race. Around a whole lot of nothing. Try some different lines, see if we can find any speed. Sometimes at Richmond you can get the middle lane to work. Just because you're getting a little better run off the corner. Doesn't really seem to have done anything. So, that's not a thing, now we're getting on throttle loose on the straightaway. Not good. Way too tight out of four. I don't think it'll work, but maybe it'll help our tight on exit. still the place to be, just don't overdrive it. Like that. Need to back up our corner entry. Get a better roll through the center. Maybe not even use brakes. Not that we're using all that much anyways. through the center too much there. is at least it's not as bad as it used to be where if you got out of the lane you'd like lose a whole second but at a place like Richmond you should be able to get a little more grip in the middle and top Feeling good. We're just hooking the yellow line. Twenty-one point four seven five. Here's where this car is the big difference. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that just beat us on the restart at Atlanta because that was just a full throttle track, but 
then you come here and we're lapping him at halfway. It's just, it's one of those fun cars that, you know, I hope if we ever do get the old and current Silver Crown that was before this and after this, that it doesn't change. Like, we are still able to use this on speedways. So use that for short tracks, use the dirt version for dirt, and then use this version for Indianapolis and the 1.5s. I mean, they used the, they went to uh, Gateway this year with the current car, which is absolutely nuts. I know they've been there before, but it's just, the speeds that they're going, those people are absolutely nuts to put that little protection between them and a wall at 160 miles an hour or whatever it might be. But yeah, if we get an update to the Silver Crown, I don't want this car to go away. Um, because this is one of the few cars that you can race on everything and it provides it provides something unique. You know, it's not like the modern cars racing at 1.5s. This did. It's just money wise and the concept of it being a gateway to indie car just didn't Especially when, I mean, right now the field is silver crowns. They can't even finish a race. And looks like Kyle has looped it. Or got looped or something. So, we got to cool these tires off. Single file restarts. I don't know if lap cars get moved to the rear or not. But this closes the gap behind us, which we didn't need. Gavin has dropped to ninth. But we will cool these tires off, and uh, I hope not lose any spots. Car 12, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. So Stanton's got the lead, Brandon is in second, and then Josh in third. Derek and Mitch, we got the 17 and the 18 as lap cars. So now we got a bit of a dash to the end here, and we are really overfueled. But that's not our problem. Our problem is grip. It does not feel like we have any. And we got to do some more pacing. Don't really need this many pace laps, but it's a short track, so we pace too much. trying to put the tires in the uh, lighter colored pavement that's not getting ran on and uh, cool them off. Tire heat's more of the issue with this car than tire wear. Passer, 18, car. All right. Lap cars. Closed. Seat road is closed. Passer, 17, car.
So does Mitch have any damage on his right side? Not that we can see. Maybe the right front is pushed up? No, looks fine. One to go, next time by. 50.713. Alright, well, let's not overdrive the corner, and, uh, try to hold on to 6th. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. 48.036 Not trying to pass you, Mitch. Just trying to get to the bottom. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Outside. Clear. Didn't want to do that. Because this is just wasting time. 21.67 Still there. Inside. Get back in fifth. Still there. Stay high. Still there, inside. 21.587. Not where I want to be. Clear. It's not turning. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Still inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear, 21.519. spot, back it down so that we don't push up and hold on to it. I got Gavin a little screwed up there, but I had to, otherwise I was going to push up too much in the center. And Gavin was not ready for that big of a checkup in the middle of the corner. I should have just backed off when uh, Mitch went middle, because we weren't near the uh, inside of him, but I just needed to turn down earlier into that corner, and I think he thought I was going for a pass there. Gavin's got his tires cooled off and heading back forward, back forward, and he gets wrecked because that's what that guy does. Not Gavin. We'll take a look at it afterwards, but... Usually, when one of the people back there is involved, it's usually their fault. Sucks for Gavin. 21.392 Derek has gotten around Josh. We've got 18 to go. I'm going to loosen this thing up a little bit more, see if we can head closer to the front here. I assume Gavin got back going, but he may have just exited out. I don't see him on pit road, though.
All right. We're just in our own boring pack by ourselves. That's just, we don't have enough speed to be up there. And we're just fast enough to not be behind or further back into that pack. I don't think we're going to catch up to Josh, but he's definitely starting to go backwards. But if him and Mitch go side by side for a bit and keep passing each other, maybe that'll slow him enough. off the corner. Alright, I want to be a little more aggressive with my uh, driving now, try to gain a bit of this. Attack the corners, do a little more blending of brake over throttle. Just to keep it going into the corner. Yeah, we're too damn tight. That's just not doing anything but eating up our right front. That's not what we need. We're not going to catch them. Let's just... Be nice to our tires for the last 10. And uh, come home sixth. backed it off, I feel like we're doing a little better. Might be some contact ahead. Well, no, Derek actually got around Brandon. Derek's making some moves here at the end. 21.46. But nearly to the end here. They may wad him up ahead of us. Mitch is trying to get around Brandon. Brandon's very aggressive. 21.5. Mitch is a fairly aggressive driver. He's just a fast guy that can make some moves, but Brandon has a moment and loses two spots. And then we're driving on the apron for no reason. 21.597. Five laps to go. I'm just taking care of the rights here. We don't have an issue. I don't think, but we'll see. He may just dump us. Rip issue getting off the corner there. As long as we uh, get down on the bottom, don't miss the corner, we'll be fine. Josh is having throttle issues, that's backing both of them up here. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. I'm sure we'll get wrecked. It's just uh, who he is, but I'm not going to pull over for him. Point 
White flag. One more left to go. He's going to try to get a run off of two. And then throw it into the corner. Get a decent exit here. He's got no chance, and we're going to be able to finish sixth. Unless one of these guys spins coming out of the corner. There we go, P6. There's the flag. Go watch it's the over. two wrecks and uh, nice run. see Solid what work. happened. You got the win, Stanton. Ninety-one, ninety-two. Not great. We are just slow. Um, let's go quickly look at this. This is going to be Brandon running into him. Oh, and Mitch was already passed here. He drives it up into the wall and almost flips it. And then, yeah. As I said, 14 overdrives the corner even when Gavin gives him the spot. Uh, Jason gets into the back of, is that Laura? Yeah. And Kyle, all by himself, on the throttle, starts going all over the place. And uh, he saves it that time. Gosh nearly in the wall, has to lift off of it. Here comes Kyle again. Just too hard on to the throttle, into the wall. And then, what are we going to have here? Yeah, I have no idea why he backed off that early, but... Um... Don't know who to blame that on. Seems like he backed off early. one of those deals I think at that point you gotta just if you're gonna go for it turn in early but he should know watching my channel how that guy drives but have to kind of put blame on Gavin for that one Look at, looking at it from that we'll see but uh, yeah that sucks oops So, I believe that was it. Gavin gets to 12th, so he's about six spots off of where he should have been. Sorry, Mitch. Um, not too bad. Good race to Mitch. I should have been smarter with that restart, but didn't. So, we lost a lot of time there, too. Um, just, we weren't quick. Let's uh, look at results. And we come away with 20i rating, zero incidents on our 499. And uh, I mean, we were almost fastest lap, but I mean, that doesn't matter when we go to crap late in the run. So just didn't have the feel for it this time but hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching